Okay, today I'm uh, doing a simple lamb curry. Now, people from different parts of India have their own dishes, their own special way of cooking poultry, lamb, meat, uh, vegetarian dishes, uh, using different kinds of spices, different methods. This is my way of cooking lamb. It's a simple lamb curry and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, these are the ingredients that we will need for our lamb curry. Here I have two onions, medium, which I'm going to slice ginger, about an inch, one green chilli and three cloves of garlic, a bunch of fresh coriander. And here I have about half a tin of chopped tomatoes, a pound of lamb chopped up into large bite-sized pieces. This is my spice tin in which I have all my Indian spices in one place. For my lamb curry, I will be using two teaspoons heaped of the garam masala, one heaped teaspoon of the turmeric, three teaspoons of the paprika, one teaspoon of salt. Salt you can add to taste if you like less salt, add less, and if you like more, add it later when the sauce is cooked so you can taste it and see whether you prefer more salt. I'm going to use two cinnamon sticks about that size. If you have smaller cinnamon sticks, use more. If you have a larger one, obviously use one. I'm going to use one whole cardamom, which I'm going to throw in whole and I can take it out afterwards. And I'm going to use one star aniseed, which also I'm going to throw in whole and then I can take it out uh, when the sauce is cooked. Right, I'm going to slice my onions finely, pretty finely chopped now. And I'll start with the ginger. Okay, now I'm chopping the ginger. I'm going to slice it finely and then chop right. it. I'm going to chop the coriander roughly. You don't need it too fine. I've taken the big stubborn stalks, the thick stalks at the end. You don't want those, but the top stalks are more tender and uh, they're okay for the sauce so that's that's it that's all I need to do with that it's ready to add to the curry at the end okay uh, here I have a large pan on medium heat to which I've added one tablespoon here the serving spoon really of uh, vegetable oil you can add less if you so wish or more if you like your food a little bit more rich Right, wait for the oil to heat up and then add your onions. Right, I'm going to soften these onions, keeping an eye on them all the time. I don't want them to burn. Burnt taste does add a nice flavour to your curry. Right, while your onions are cooking, they're not quite soft yet. I'm going to add one large black cardamom. I'm going to add also my two cinnamon sticks and a star aniseed. Stir that around and wait for the onions to start taking a golden colour and come nice and soft. Okay, you can see that the onions are beginning to soften. I'm going to add my whole chilli. I'm also going to add my garlic. Keep an eye all the time because the garlic is finely chopped and it will start to burn fairly quickly. Add your ginger. Again, that was fairly finely chopped. Stir. Stay with your pan, don't leave it. Otherwise, it will start to burn. This for about 15 seconds, no more. When the ginger and the garlic have had a chance to begin to brown, going to add the tomatoes. In go the tomatoes. 
Now I know a lot of people like to add the tomatoes after they add the spices. They, um, I prefer to add my tomatoes first so the spices don't burn and that way you get a less bitter taste to your curry. Add my spices which is two heaped spoons of garam masala, one spoon of turmeric, I'm going to add one small spoon of salt, you can add more later. I'm going to add three spoons of paprika. Okay, now I'm going to cook my spices and the tomato mixture really well. Now I'm going to turn the heat down because it's beginning to burn a little. And if you find it is beginning to stick to the bottom of the pan just add a little bit of water now I'm going to cook the mixture here it's called the masala I'm going to cook this at least five minutes I want it to become a deeper red it's a more tomato -y red at the moment I really want to cook it well before I add my lamb Okay, now my masala has been cooking for about five minutes. I've been stirring it continuously. It's become a rich red colour. Now I'm going to add my lamb. Again, I'm going to stay with this. Get the lamb coated well with the masala. And cook and seal it on all sides. I don't want any raw bits before I add the water to it to make the sauce. So I've got it on fairly high heat at the moment as you can see because I am here with it. You are going to leave it for any amount of time and make sure you turn it well down. If you do find that the masala is beginning to stick again just add a tiny amount of water at the moment because we do want to cook the meat really well and get it nicely brown on all sides before we add the water. We've now been stirring and cooking the lamb in the masala for about six minutes. As you can see, all the sides are sealed and it's getting a nice brown colour. At this stage I'm going to add the water. Here I have some hot water. I'm going to add enough to cover the lamb so you'll get lovely sauce which you can uh, have with your rice. So cover and cook for half an hour to 45 minutes. The lamb has now been cooking for about half an hour. There we have it. The liquid is reduced to give you a lovely sauce. I will add my chopped coriander, give it a stir and then just leave it for another two to three minutes. At this stage also you can add extra salt if you so wish. Okay my lamb has now cooked. I've added the coriander and cooked for a further three minutes. So here we go. Lovely lamb curry. I've also made the rice with my other videos to show you. That goes very nice with this lamb curry.